Hey there everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist customers from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services our customers most frequently ask us to perform is the removal of the Google Account Lock security feature on an Android device, also known as the FRP Lock for Factory Reset Protection. It's something that Google initiated back in Android 5 to where when a device is factory reset without first removing the Google account that's on it, it's then going to ask you to log into that account again as a security measure after the factory reset has been performed. Now, here with us today we happen to have a Lenovo Tab M10, so it's a 10-inch Android tablet that is made by Lenovo, and this device does have the Google account lock enabled. As we can see here, as we're going through the setup process, we get to this screen that tells us that the device was reset, and to continue, we have to sign in with the previous account that was on it. So we've been contacted by tons of customers over the years, asking us for assistance with this specific issue on this specific model, usually either because they themselves accidentally got locked out of their own device and couldn't remember or recover their login information, or because they were sold the device by a dishonest seller who didn't tell them that the lock was enabled. So the the buyer thought that the device was clean and clear, that it was all set to use, the buyer didn't tell them anything about it, and then after the transaction, the buyer discovered that the device was actually locked and the seller had long since disappeared, and unfortunately it's a very common scam that happens all the time these days in the buying and selling of used mobile devices. But We're making this video to let any interested customers know that we do offer a service to be able to remove the lock from this specific model without having to have the previous Google login information. So it's actually something that we do directly to the device while it is plugged into a computer. And the great thing about this is that it's something that can be done for just about anyone anywhere in the world. So you don't necessarily need to be located here in our local area in order for us to be able to do this for you. You would just need to have a decently powerful Windows computer along with a fast internet connection and we can remotely connect right to your computer through the internet and perform the exact same procedure that we're doing right here right now. Our unlock program needs just another few seconds to finish up running and then after that after the device restarts we should be able to see that we can indeed get all the way through the setup process without seeing that Google lock screen. So just hold on here a second while this finishes up running. All right, there we go. Device has fully restarted. We are going to be back at the setup steps here. So we're going to just going to show you here step by step as we're going through, just so you know that we're not secretly signing into any of our own Google accounts or anything like that. So as we're going through here, we're checking for updates. And then we don't need to copy any apps and data. We're going to go ahead and skip that step. And then it's going to check the info. And this is normally where the Google account lock would have shown up before. So now that our unlock program should have removed it successfully, um, it's asking us about a system update. We will just go ahead and do that later. So now at the Google screen, you notice it's prompting us to sign in with any Google account. It's not giving us that message about requiring the previous one. So we should be all set, but I'm going to go ahead and finish running through all of the setup process just to make sure. We're going to agree to that, agree to the Google services. We don't need a screen lock, so we're going to skip that step. We don't need face recognition. We don't need Amazon Alexa. We're going to skip that too. We don't need a Lenovo ID. Agree to that. Set that, finish later, and then I think after this part we should be all set. Yep, there we go. So we've got the home screen loaded up. We have full access to all the apps and settings and features, and this is just like a brand new device that never had the lock on there. I'm going to go ahead and jump into the settings really quick just to show you exactly what we are dealing with. So if we go under system and then about, we can see the device name there 
So Lenovo calls this a Tab M10, but that model number there, the TBX505F, that is the specific model that we are working with here. So if you have one of these that need help getting the Google Lock removed from it, we would love to help you out with that. So go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact information will be right down in the video description, and I'll also put a slide at the end of the video here that has all of the details there as well. While you're here, make sure to check out some of the other videos that we have on our channel, as we offer a lot of different services for a lot of different models of devices, and I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy someday. Hitting that subscribe button while you're there will also enable you to be notified of all of the new videos and services that we're constantly adding and putting up, just like this one. Y para todos los hispanohablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great day.